we are learning more about the man arrested after yesterday's shooting at a protest over an Oñate statue in Española. 23-year-old Ryan Martinez appeared before a judge today. Spencer Schott is back today in Albuquerque for this. He listened on, in on that hearing, though. And Spencer, what have we learned from the court documents? Well, Danielle, the arrest warrant gives witnesses accounts about what led up to the shooting, the car chase before his arrest, and then details about the suspect or the suspect's interview with police. Now, first, let's get to Martinez in court. Appearing virtually in front of a judge in Española, we recognize Ryan Martinez from video that we shot when we were up in, yes in Española yesterday. Martinez is seen firing a shot at an Oñate protester following a brief confrontation outside the county clerk's office. Now, according to the arrest warrant affidavit, witnesses reported Martinez was acting strange and trying to pick a fight with protesters all morning. Many were there to celebrate that the counties decided to delay the installation of the statue of the Spanish conquistador Juan de Oñate. But then after the shooting, Martinez took off in his white Tesla. One of the other protesters who saw the shooting followed Martinez until he was pulled over and arrested. An Española police officer says Martinez chuckled when he was shown a picture of himself pointing a gun at protesters and he didn't stay quiet today either when he was in court yes your honor that's my address and i just want to thank you for uh, uh serving justice i think you did it really fairly but i've seen so i just want to say thank you do you have is this a good address though thank you eventually martinez's public defender advised him to stop talking and she would answer all of his questions after the hearing he faces charges of first degree attempted murder and aggravated assault prosecutors have filed for pretrial detention and a hearing to decide if he should stay in jail will be set soon danielle spencer thank you statues of juan de oñate have caused violence in our state before and oñate's history has been controversial for hundreds of years in june of 2020 a protest over an oñate statue near old town albuquerque turned violent video showed a suspect shooting a protester after some kind of fight there and stephen ray baca later pleaded no contest the editor of the New Mexico Historical Review says Oñate represents the beginning of Hispanic culture for some, but others just remember him for violence against indigenous people. Oñate for native people was a violent colonizer. That's how they view him. They also view the entire Spanish colonizing project as, as one long act of genocide. And even if they didn't a race basically kill every last Native American, you know, in North America. They uh, they did try to erase the culture of of these people. Ball says state leaders should be prepared and get better prepared, but others say it is not that simple. I can see law enforcement, if present, staying way back and being, you know, way out of the way. Uh, of the protest that's there, especially if it's small, it's it's legal, it, it's it's within their uh, you know it's within the the rights of individuals to uh, lawfully uh, you know utilize their uh, their ability to protest. Law enforcement was not at this latest protest when the shooting happened, potentially because that event had been postponed the night before, citing safety issues. So a lot of questions remain here in this latest protest shooting. We will continue to follow this closely. We'll bring you the latest updates in our newscasts and at KOB.com.